We're putting an intercooler on all this. Uh, oh boy. Over here wrenching on it and Whoa. stuff. We went down to Riley International on Saturday. Yeah. We met Jack Riley and all this. Um, so it's a, it's obviously a different train of thought than what you're used to. Just tell people nobody knows more about fire than a smoker. Yeah, no, nobody has as much experience. Yeah. I mean, you start and put out fires 30, 40 times a day for life. You know just what it takes to set a fire.
just had to see what you were doing with this camera. <laughs> we couldn't stand it any longer. I think he's taking pictures from on top of a pole. Yeah. It's not made for a, this is not a truck. It's not made for on the field man. 1992 world speed record. When I first got the airplane flying again, I did some experiments with the ratio between the stick and the elevator. What I was trying to do is reduce the pitch sensitivity of the airplane. All these small airplanes are, are a little pitch sensitive by um, making the stick move farther for a given amount of elevator travel. It made sense that that would make it less sensitive. Um, what I discovered, however, was that other, other things were at work. Watch this landing. What I had actually done by increasing the stick travel was increase the amount of leverage I had over the elevators and it made them so light that I couldn't, I didn't have any feel. Um, look at the thing flopping around here. It took me that long to finally give up this landing. I finally did get it back on the ground, but uh, I learned a powerful lesson that stick force Increasing stick force is the way to reduce sensitivity, not increasing stick travel. As soon as I finally did get it back on the ground, I adjusted it the opposite direction, increasing the stick force, but reducing the stick travel, and the airplane landed so sweetly. Go again.